Welcome back to my bathroom. Today we're trying Topic. This is a system that apparently makes your hair look thicker and fuller. So if you have fine, thin hair like me, bald eagles unite, this may answer our problems or it may not. Real quick, I have an announcement. <laughs> I have a new YouTube channel. I'll link it below, but it's Brittany Alexis Hair. It is strictly geared for people doing their hair at home by themselves. A lot of tutorials, a lot of how-tos, a lot of tips and tricks. You can join me on that side of the internet, but please do stay on this side of the internet. So make sure you subscribe, click the like button, all that jazz, so I can continue to make very high quality videos like this. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply. This starter kit is $25. It comes with the hair blower, blow puffer, the hairline optimizer, and hairspray. The hair fibers are sold separately. They look like this. They are $25 a piece. We have black, light brown, and medium brown. There was also a gray one, which I did not grab. Sorry about that. Step one, dry and style your hair as usual, okay? Then it says to shake it or use the puffer. We'll start with the light brown. It looks like a salt shaker. You can just shake it and sprinkle it on your scalp directly like this. The Sally's employee, got some powder there. He uses this and he told me that you definitely do want to get the puffer because if you just shake it, you end up wasting a lot of the product. We're gonna take his advice. So you can take the salt shaker off and put, oh cool, the puffer twist on like this. And then it, oh, that is actually cool. I don't know if you can see that. So then you just go through on the thin parts of your hair and put this on here. Do we have a brush? We have a comb. Oh, I've got flaky scalp again. Perfect for this video. How embarrassing. So ignore the dandruff. That's something I'm working on. Just leave me alone about it. It's snowing out here. Oh my, I gotta get into this later about the grocery stores and the snowstorm. Remind me to tell you about that. So my hair looks the thinnest when I pull it back. This is my real hair color. I'm growing it out, but it's a medium brown, blonde, bronze. All right, nobody cares. So I have the most notice of thinness when I try to slick my hair back. You can see the scalp through my hair. So we're gonna focus on that part. Let's put our Timu clip in. Here we go, we're gonna spray it. This is the hairline tool. It's a flimsy little tool that mimics a hairline or a grass. You're supposed to put it here so you don't get a harsh line. and then take it out. Guess you do this. This product is not new, by the way. I thought it was, I thought it was. Because when I went into Sally's, they had this huge display of it. You know, they do that with the new products like Bon Bar. By the way, they have a blue Bon Bar shampoo that I want to try. I thought this was new, but when I was researching it, it's actually really old. Would have been good to know. I had no idea this was a thing. What do you think? It does make the hair have a texture very similar to, let me get it. This, Big Sexy Powder Play. This is what I have been using to make my hair look thicker. It's a texturizing powder. It works really well, but it makes your hair feel very gross. Kind of hay-like, but it does puff it up and volumize it so we can trick people into thinking we have more hair than we do. And it also leaves a white residue. So this doesn't work well for darker hair colors because you can see it. So I like that this is tinted. It has a similar feeling, but not as gross. It's not rubbing off on my hair hands, but it is getting under my fingernails. So check out this side with the light brown. Oh yeah, I guess it did work, cause look at this side. And that's the side with nothing. Oh, oops. I had snot my nose. Why didn't you say anything? Now we're gonna try the medium brown. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, no, you can't. But there's a lot in there. It's about this full. So that should last a while. And we'll try it on this side now. Comb thing in here. Whoa, dandruff alert on that side. Sexy. So it just wipes off if you just make a mistake. Which side looks better? The light brown one to me anyway, looks like it has a red tint, a little bit of red, so warm tones. 
and the dark brown looks to be cool tones. My hair pulls naturally red tones, which I cannot stand it. We always want what we don't have though. If it pulled cool tones, I'd probably want it to be warm tones. Honestly, you need to get rid of that dandruff girl. Okay, get you some head and shoulders. I'm talking to me, not you. But so far, I actually really like this. Let's try a part line. We'll do that right there. Oh yeah, that is one way to make your hair look way thicker. I usually just use eyeshadow, but this is honestly a lot better and easier, faster. I'm gonna go with the medium brown color for myself. I guess the light brown, uh oh. I guess the light brown one would be more for blondes. I don't know if they had a straight blonde one or not. Look at that, and it doesn't leave like a harsh line. This would be great for men who have the balding in the back. I don't think you really need this. You could just use your hand or a piece of paper or something. Oh, maybe you do need that, because that is a straight line. Ah! Do you see the little hairs, the little fibers? This is the black one. I obviously don't have black hair, but I thought it would be nice to see what it looked like. On with the fluffer. The fluffer! <laughs> I laugh like a screaming fox. You ever heard a screaming fox? We had a fox out here. Well, you know, I feed all the birds, the crows and stuff, I have eight crows. And the fox was coming up and eating the damn peanuts and eggs, because on Sundays they get scrambled eggs. And he'll and I thought it was a neighbor over here, the little, well, they're little, not average height, whatever I need to say to make that right. And so sometimes when she's outside, I get concerned about her because things are hard. They are, they're challenging. And I run outside because I thought, oh my God, it's my neighbor again, doing the play set, climbing on the rock wall. And it's a fox screaming at my damn peanuts. <coughs> Let's try the black one. We'll do it right here. We're gonna go in with the comb and we're gonna pump it. Ooh, can you see that? Let's work it through. Did it stay black? I don't know, let's try it on this blonde part. That's one of those Disney towels. They really do have the best towels. It's making the hairline look a little weird, but it does work. I don't think this would cover grays. Maybe it would, you'd probably have to apply a lot. So my favorite is the medium brown one. That looks perfect. Oh, it does get everywhere though. See, look, I moved my hair and it's all over my skin. So how you set this in place is with hairspray. The starter kit comes with the spray and this apparently strength strengthens the bond of these building fibers used 48 inches away. The rep at Sally's who also uses this product on his hair said that this is literally just hairspray. Yeah, it smells like hairspray. Oh, and it's the same ingredients as hairspray. So yeah, he's right. He said that because it's a, what is this called? A manual pump? It doesn't work as well as aerosol. We're gonna go in with my favorite Tresemme Extra Hold. Hairspray apparently locks this in, but if you go through and scratch your scalp or touch your hair, woo, it is just gonna get all over your nails. Let's see what happens if you get in a rainstorm. Okay, it just wipes off. Key points. Not only do you not need to touch your scalp, no scratching, no patting, no tapping, no slapping. You need to bring a damn umbrella because if it starts raining, your hair is gonna leak. For me, I like it. Nothing is going to replace having hair. Even with hair extensions, there's issues. You can see the tape, they're itchy. You can't shampoo them a lot. They only last a month. They're expensive. There's no quick fix. Even Bosley shampoo, I've used that in the past and it works amazing. 10 out of 10. It takes about 30 days to see results. It really works. It is extremely expensive. Even at my price, the hairdresser price, it is expensive. As soon as you stop using it, your hair goes back to the way it was just like it was before. So you have to factor in if you wanna maintain this cost every month. Same thing with that Nutrafol. I haven't tried that, but I have a couple friends that use it. It's like $80 a bottle, and it's the same kind of gimmick, according to my friends. Once you stop taking it, your hair slowly goes back to the way it was. So you have to think to yourself, do I wanna spend $80 a month for vitamins, or we can just try to eat better. Eat more salmon, get that fish oil, girl. Just try to do it on our own. Obviously, there's some flaws. It is 
kind of all over my face, but I like it. I'd give it a solid eight. I do wish it was a little cheaper, but there is a lot of powder in the bottle. What we could do is try the knockoff. There's a knockoff on Amazon or an alternative. We could try that sometime. I also want to show you some favorite products I found at the Dollar Tree and one from Sally's. But before we do that, we're going to get into some tea talk. Today's tea bag of choice is one of my personal favorites. Simple truth, we got that organic baby. Cinnamon apple herbal tea. This one is very Christmassy. Christmas in a cup, it's very cinnamony, very spicy. One of my favorites and it's caffeine free. So I have to watch that. Can't have caffeine past 2 p.m. <laughs> fun. I'm a good time. Okay. So before we get into the products, let me tell you about the snowstorm. Let me preface, preface this by saying, I don't watch the news, the weather. I don't follow politics, trending events, celebrities, or any kind of things like that. I have not a clue what's going on in this world. And I don't want to know because I have high anxiety from just being on this planet. This is hard enough trying to figure out how to survive. I don't need to add other things, politics, wars, religion, and all that mess. I don't need to add it, okay? It's not for me. So I don't know what the weather is. How I know what the weather is, is I do the redneck test. I take my hand here, pretend this is a window. I put it on the window in the morning. And if the window is cold, guess what? It's probably cold outside. If you touch it and it's hot, it's probably sunny and it's probably warm. So that's how I tell the weather. I went to the grocery store the other day, just a normal trip to the grocery store, getting the eggs, getting the tea. I pull up and I'm looking around and it's panic at the Costco. The whole parking lot is full. So I hop my jolly ass out of my car and I see everyone is frantic. They've got the look on their face like something bad is gonna happen. Not me because I don't have a clue. I'm taking my time. I get out of my car and I ask a frantic lady beside me. Well, I look in her cart and I see she has eight gallons of milk, bread, and about 20 eggs. You took my damn eggs. And I say, ma'am, just observing, but is there anything, is there anything going on? And she whipped around. Honey, do you not watch the damn news? No, I do not watch the news. It's going to be a snow apocalypse. And I look up. And I see that the sun is shining. So that means it's sunny outside, but things can change. They might even close the Waffle House. Good call, lady. I was actually coming to get eggs. Well, you better hurry up, cause your damn car is gonna start hydroplaning off the road if you're not careful. I think you are hydroplaning, cause you sound crazy as hell. You ain't gonna make it if you stay here past five. Don't tempt me with a good time. So I go into Costco and I see that everyone is doing the same thing. They all have the eggs, bread, and milk. And I'm just not understanding that. If there was a snow apocalypse, why would the first three things that you're gonna grab would be the things that have the lowest shelf life? Ask yourself this. If today was a normal day and I was going to the Costco, would I be buying 10 gallons of milk, 20 loaves of bread, and 600 eggs? Would I be doing that? So why would I do that when there's a snowstorm that is only predicted to last two days? How am I gonna eat 600 eggs in two days? So you know what I got at the Costco? I got a damn foot long hot dog and I got some nuts for Henry, but I did get eggs cause you know, I hyper fixate on eggs. It ended up being sunny outside as I predicted because I felt the glass on the window. You should try it. And also the weathermen, woman, weather womans, you gotta give them props because that is the only job that I'm aware of where you can be wrong 90% of the time and not get fired. I love that for them. All right, now let's get into this hair oil. This is also from Sally's. This is one of my favorite hair oils. Malie Rosemary Mint. But the cool thing is they came out with this new light hair oil. So it's not as thick. Ooh, it smells good. Smell that. Rosemary oil helps provoke. Is it provoke? Invoke? Evoke? Help stimulate the scalp for hair growth. Dab this all over your scalp after it's clean. I can't do it right now because it's got all this powder in it. Massage it in your scalp to penetrate the blood circulation. Or if you got a man, woman, you got two men. Some of y'all got two, three men's. Hey, more power to you. I can't even keep up with one. Massage it in there for about 10 minutes. Brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it. Called scientific brushing in the hair world. Do that. That's really going to help because believe it or not, even though my hair doesn't look great, it has improved a lot. I still have a little bit of a mullet, but it's getting longer and it is getting thicker. Instead of wrapping my ponytail about 10 times, now I'm down to nine. This is $9. You can make your own if you're into that kind of witchcraft. Taking rosemary sprigs and a carrier, carrier, carrier oil. They're using grapeseed oil. Would recommend this light one though. The other one is almost too thick and it will really 
F up a good time. It will mess your pillow up up from the Dollar Tree I found a couple of goodies first they have these mini caboodles remember these I've got Andy's mints in mine you want some candy they don't have the tackle box feature like a original caboodle is it a caboodle yeah it's a caboodle they had a bunch of different colors oh I love that you gotta get the individually wrapped ones not the ones like they give you at the Olive Garden you have to get this one look it's plasticky they are thicker this is the number one candy. Also from the Dollar Tree, just finish your food. I was at the bowling alley the other day and I was talking to this lady. She was going to town on her hot wings. You go town girl, you clean those wings. She was doing the making out with her hot wing, rotating it and all that shit, okay? And we were talking about bowling. Instead of just pausing with the food or even telling me, hey, can you come back in 10 minutes so I can really go to town on these wings? She just kept eating and eating and then she was licking the sauce and then she did the unbelievable thing. She took her fingers and she sucked her fingers and she had nails on and they had hot sauce under them and she was just carrying on a full conversation. No stopping. I mean, maybe she had somewhere to be, but damn. Friendly reminder, if you're talking to someone, just pause your eating. Just pause the eating or tell them to just kindly come back later. Don't be licking hot sauce off your 10 inch long square shaped acrylic fingernail. And then you can go to the bathroom and probably not wash your hands. Cause I'm a sink watcher. I'll watch you. I'll look under the stall, see what kind of shoes you're wearing. And if you don't use the sink, then I'm gonna find you outside of the bowling alley and just take a mental note. Okay, you didn't wash your hands. So we're not sharing bowling balls. Anyway, from the Dollar Tree, Be Pure Essentially Ageless, Ageless powder it's a really dark powder i told you last time i can't wear liquid foundation anymore because it's just not serving me so i use bare minerals and they have this one that comes in the starter kit called warmth and it's just a really dark bronzer i wear that on my cheeks it kind of looks similar to this. This is nice because it has a very matte finish. If you have greasy skin, oh, that sounds gross. Oily skin, overactive sebaceous glands. I could be doing nothing and I will look in the mirror. It looks like I work at the Vaveline and I serviced your minivan and took the dipstick and didn't do the paper towel thing, just used my hand, went like that and rubbed oil all over my face. That's what it looks like. This has a very blurring effect to kind of hide the pores and the oil. So I would recommend this. It's a dollar, dollar 25. Another favorite, I just picked up a new one. This is also from the Dollar Tree, Be Pure Green Tea Infused Powder. This is fantastic for oily skin and it really does blur those pores. I love to wear this the days I don't wear makeup, which is most days. Because my skin is so oily, I'll just dab this all over and it's translucent. Definitely would recommend picking that up. Thanks again for joining me here in the bathroom. Don't forget to be kind to yourself. That's what we're gonna do this week. This week, we're gonna be kind to ourselves. And how about we just be kind to others? Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Let's just be kind, kind to yourself. Oh, I think I said that last week, we're being kind to ourselves. Well, I've got that on my mind then. Just keep being kind, keep on keeping on. <laughs> I get flipped off on the road a lot. Honked at, flipped off. I drive slow. I go the speed limit. But for some reason, people around here, I think we're playing Mario Kart. Who can accelerate the fastest? Who can speed up to the red light the fastest? Which will never make sense to me. Everything is fast, 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 fast. So people are constantly flipping me off, yelling at me. I live in the South, so those men, some women have those huge trucks that blow smoke. They'll cut in front of you and <laughs> fill up your car. <laughs> with black smoke. It's really not good for the earth, but it, I mean, it's a little funny. Anyway, I used to get really mad back. Flipping you off back, rolling down my window. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm getting myself worked up for what? How do I know they're not on their way to the hospital? How do I know they didn't just get broken up with and they're depressed and they're angry and they're taking it out on me because I'm just an easy target because I'm driving too damn slow. We don't know what's going on with people. We really just don't. We don't have a damn clue. Let's just give everybody grace and be kind to them. Practice kindness. So now when I get flipped off, I just do one of these. And honestly, I think that pisses them off more. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's do that together. Together, we can do it. Don't forget, I'll have two of these topic topics on my website, a dollar free shipping. Oh, this video isn't sponsored by the way. None of them are. So these are my honest opinions. I bought them with my own money. I'm just obviously not going to need all three. I don't have black hair. So that's going to be on my website as well as some mystery boxes from a Timo haul we did a while ago, last week. 
I don't remember. And if you're interested in any hair content, DIY hair tutorials, it's on my other channel, Brittany Alexis Hair. Again, they're very direct, tutorials, short, not a lot of funnies, but any hair questions and stuff is gonna be easier for me to navigate through there. And if you have any suggestions, I'll take some suggestions as well. The intention is to post here every Sunday and to post there maybe every Friday. I don't like commitment, so I don't want to commit to that, but I will post every week. I'm just not sure on the day. So I hope you'll join me on that side of the internet too. Have a fantastic week. You deserve it. And I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. So then you just, I haven't seen a damn one of y'all eating cereal when there's a crisis. Comments box. Ah! Shh. Stay. My eyes, I can just keep them open. Can you speak English now? Wow, big words. There's cat hair there.